What's up everyone? We're out here in winter wonderland today. It's been snowing here for like three days straight in Utah. It's beautiful out. We're out here with the boys. Boys, say hi. Hello. Hey. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start 2023 off right. It's gonna be fun. Woo! So we gotta get you guys to meet the crew today. See who's out with us. Let's meet him. All right, first one we got is Scott. Hey. What up, Scott? <laughs> How's it going? So Scott's a good friend of ours. We've been out a number of times. We met up, I forget, what was the first thing we did? Southern Utah? You gave me a hat. <laughs> I gave you, I gave him a hat, that's right. Then we went to Southern Utah. We met up in the Tetons. That was kind of fun. That was great. But uh, we've been out a number of times with him. He's a good dude. Great photographer, go check him out. His link will be on the screen. I'm trying not to fall off this mountain here. It's a good day. Woo. All right, number two, this is Will Mars. Will, say hi. Hello there. So Will is the guy that proposed our epic Lake Blanche hike a while back. Oh yeah. He, he's a real bushwhacker. He likes to go a little crazy with things. Oh yeah. But like that, that was a crazy hike. That was one we gotta do again. <laughs> yeah, I got a little I mean, squirrely. It's not gonna be the same now because like there's all the snow. Oh yeah. But yeah. what a hike. So this is this too. Definitely go give him a follow too. Say. Okay. <laughs> all right, and this is B Dotes, Brandon Dotinga. Okay. We talk about him a lot in the podcast. He actually was our 2022 Squash Courage Award winner. Big deal. You have an acceptance speech, Brandon? No. No. Squatch is not happy about that. Well, I was not given a deadline for this, so if you give me one. Five minutes. All right, I will have one in five minutes. And this is Chandler. You know Chandler, you love him. Maybe not. Yeah, I got him to smile. <laughs> and this is Finn. Finn, say hi. Finn. Finny. Finn, say hi. Look at Finn. He likes being out in the snow, obviously. He's a good boy. So Chandler just kicked a big snowball down the cliff, which is a big no-no. Gonna start avalanches that way. Right, Chandler? Can't start avalanches. Well, as you can see, it's really foggy up here, so it's not great to be looking at the landscapes. You know, except for beetles, because he's always ready. All right, so today is a little tricky. The conditions don't offer great grand landscapes or anything, so we're gonna try something a little different. We've never done this before, but we're gonna do a photo challenge. So for this challenge, all five of us are gonna go out and get our own photo that we think is amazing. It could be anything. We could get a landscape, a portrait, a drone shot, doesn't matter. And we're gonna put it on this video for you guys to judge at home. So on the count of three, guys, you ready? Ready. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> let's get to it. <laughs> all right, Chandler, what is your goal for this challenge? My goal is to beat Luke Furman in a photo challenge. Well, we all know that's not gonna happen. Oh, no, it's gonna happen. You actually what? think you can win? I think I can win. Mm. Do I you believe, believe? I believe. I have the eye of a tiger. Well, that's cool. Oh, okay. Do tigers take good photos? I don't know, do they? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Scott, what kind of yes. photo are you going for today? Bad ones, mostly. Bad ones? Scott, you're a great photographer. Oh, thank you. What do you think? Are you going to go landscape or portrait today? Uh, I think I'll stick with my bread and butter and go landscape. Oh, okay. All righty, we'll see what that, how that turns out. Oh, what is this? It's a photo standoff. Who's gonna come out alive? Okay. Beto's dropped his water bottle. Got a little too excited about this challenge. There's Chandler looking like an idiot. Okay, Chandler thinks he found a shot here. Yeah, we're gonna get see what he's got. Beto's cheese in the back. All right, Beto's, what kind of shot are you looking for today? You know, I saw this on the way up. There's this little window. And that nice little tree through the window. Might try and get that. Oh, he's got it. So you think that tree's gonna win it for you today? I think so. Yeah. Chandler said he was eyeballing it too, but I, I beat him to it. And it's already fogging over, so. Yeah, well, finders keepers. That's right. Get wrecked, Chandler. 
No, oh, Chandler's pouting over here. Scott, what are you taking there? Uh, pictures of this guy wearing a red coat. I don't know his name. Oh, it's Chandler. All right, so I tried to get a landscape shot, and it didn't really turn out how I was hoping it would. That's okay. I think I'll probably stick to my bread and butter with portraits for this. Get one of those submitted, see how you guys like it. But this is like a good challenge for, for all of us because it really kind of pushes you to find something unique and in maybe an area that's kind of hard to shoot right now. So it pushes your ability, your creative ability a little bit. Find something that is gonna look good, something that's gonna look good on the gram, on your wall, what have you and see what you can do. And you know, it's fun doing it with other people. It's social, it's a little challenge. We can poke fun at each other, so it's a blast. <gasps> I heard a little buzzing. And you can see it's right in the middle of the frame. There's a drone. So one of the guys is using a drone for this. He thinks he's cool. <gasps> I think it's Will. He's doing a walking shot with the drone. He thinks he's really cool. All right, so Will is the guy with the drone. Will, what are you trying to do? So I got my drone up just right over there. The path comes up right here, but I wanted to get a slightly different angle, so I have to use a drone. Um, so I'm just gonna have Chandler sit right here on the edge of the bridge, because he has a red jacket, so it'll pop a lot more with the with all the snow coming down. So that's kind of my idea with this shot. Oh, uh, we'll see if that's a winner. Oh, it is. I think it could be. Oh, there's the shot. He's getting yeah, it. Yeah. Chandler's a model now. Any closer. He's got to catch it. Oh, we did it. <laughs> All right, so we've got some pretty good shots here. I've seen a couple of the guys' stuff, what they're doing. I've got to find something. I've got to find a good spot for a portrait. I think there's something up ahead, but we'll figure it out. Woo! Woo! Well, I found Scott. Scott kind of disappeared from us for a second, but he came down this crazy hill, and I was getting this shot. Look at this. Look at that shot he's gonna get. He's doing a long exposure with the water right here. Looking epic up on the rock. That'll turn out pretty nice. All right, all right, so I think I'm gonna stay down here as well. And I, I think I'll get a portrait done here. I have to look for one, so give me a minute, but we're gonna go see what, what we can find. Should be good. Let's do it. All right, we found ourselves in a predicament. This. This is tight and slippery. I gotta get around this tree. Nope, I got it. Woo. Woo we are bushwhacking, baby. This is what we come out for. Oh yeah, we made it. Woo. This is what we're trying to come up right now. Straight up. The hill. Whew, that was a workout. Look at Scott's technique. Killing it. The That's tripod cool. hiking pole. That's a clean technique right Very there. clean. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Hey Chandler. What's up, dude? Okay. Here, one you got it. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is what friends are for, right here. Oh, thank you, Scott. That worked better than I thought. You are amazing. <laughs> All right, so I think, I think we're calling the photo challenge. We've been out here for, I don't know, what, two hours, Chandler? What do you think? Something like that, yeah. So it's been a while. If, by this time, if you can't get anything, you probably shouldn't be out shooting anyway. Just give up. Sell your camera. That's what I tell Chandler every day. But uh, yeah, we're going to be down. We're going to get down the mountain here, back to the cars. We'll see you later. Some of you may be wondering, yes, I am wearing the new Bushwhacker Plus hoodie 
underneath my flannel today. And I gotta tell you, it keeps me very warm. You know, when you're out in conditions like this, it gets below freezing, you gotta make sure you're being safe. And there's nothing better than a good Bushwhacker hoodie that you can wear out here. So Bushwhacker Plus, great option for you. Or Chandler. Chandler's here with the Squatch hoodie. Look at that. It's amazing. Chandler, are you warm out here? I'm so warm. Yeah. Toasty warm. Oh yeah, it's Toasty great. Toasty warm. You know, this cold weather doesn't phase us Bushwhackers. No. We got, we no. got sweatshirts that are made out of Squatch fur. Exactly. And he stays warm out here. He does, yeah, Squatch is the warmest of us. Oh yeah, so. oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know how he feels about us using Squatch fur, but I think he's fine with it. No Squatches were harmed in making this no video. No Squatches were harmed, yep. All right, we made it back to the cars. Look at that. Bushes All didn't right. Stand a chance. No, those bushes were whacked, huh? We whacked them yeah, real good. Did we get shots we like, guys? Yeah, a couple, I guess. Yeah, a couple. <laughs> oh yeah, the winning shot. Oh, Will thinks he's confident over here. <laughs> Vito, it's how you feel. Good. Good. And Chandler, no one cares. Okay. Ooh. Great. <laughs> guys, that was awesome. Finn, <gasps> how do you think you've got the photo challenge, huh? Did you think you got some good photos? Yes. What do you think? Huh? Man, Finn is getting the treatment so. right now. He says, ooh, that's nice, huh, bud? He's probably a little cold. Yeah. All right, and I got a good portrait I like for the challenge, so we're gonna see how that goes. But I think that's it for today. Guys, everyone, say goodbye. Peace. See ya. Woo! See ya. Whew. Alrighty. We're back at home. We've settled down from the thrill of competition. I, you know, I'm cozy with my lucky Squatch hoodie on. Honestly, dude, I gotta say, this thing's so soft. Like, I'm surprised we don't sell more of these. Like, we, we really should. We should, yeah. I don't know what people are waiting on. All right, this is what you guys have been waiting for. You guys have cast your votes, hopefully for the right person. And we're gonna see who came out of this competition a winner. Now, there were five of us, and I gotta commend everyone on a great job. We got great photos. But just to review, the five contestants in this competition were Will Mars, Brandon Dotinga, Scott Osborne, Chandler, and myself, okay? Now, I have not seen the vote tally, so this is gonna be the first time I am ever seeing this. Uh, Chandler, could you please hand me the official ballot? All right, this is it. This is the official tally. I have not seen this yet, okay? So for the first time, I'm gonna take a look at the results. Dude, is it really this one-sided? Do the people even know what the best photo was in this competition? Apparently not. I mean, I didn't win. Yeah. What is that? Okay, well hey, we're gonna start at the bottom, announce the results in reverse order. So, in last place, we have a, a tie. Chandler, there's a tie. Between who? Well, did you vote? Yeah. You vote, who'd you vote for? Beatles. Beatles. That's a good vote. Yeah. He had a great photo. Yeah. Do you have a pen on you? So I didn't vote yet. And uh, just to make sure that there is not a tie, I'm gonna break the tie and shamelessly vote for myself. How could you? Well, too bad. So, in last place, with hardly any votes, we have Chandler. Now, frankly, I expected that um, because of the five of us, he's clearly the worst photographer. So it really is no surprise to me that he got last place. As you can see, we're gonna put his photo up on the screen. It's a great portrait of Scott Osborne, it really is, but it's clearly deserving of last place. So, you know, with that said, we're gonna move on to the fourth place, which is me. And frankly, I don't know how I got fourth place. My photo is easily the best one of all these, so I'm a little salty at all of you who did not vote for me. But on second thought, Chandler, I actually understand, because it was a portrait of you. So that's probably why they didn't vote for it. Okay, now honestly, I'm not that mad. I'll win the next one, you know, no big deal. I'll be taking part in a ton of these. So we're gonna move on to number three, and that is Scott Osborne. Now, Scott had a tremendous shot of a waterfall with the bridge up on top, and he found this location all on his own. You know, everyone else in our group that day, we comp stopped him, except for me. I didn't even take the shot. But it is a really good shot from Scott. I'm a little surprised that more people did not vote for this, um, because I think technically it is the most well composed and shot photo of the entire set. But hey, the people spoke. Scott, you're third. All right, number two, Beatles. You're the man, but you're not good enough for first. You're the first loser. But seriously, Beatles, it, it really was a great shot. I think it may be one of the best that I've seen from you. And so I think it's no surprise 
that this photo was able to get second place in this competition. And moving on to our winner, okay? Drum roll, Will Mars. Congratulations, buddy. You won the first Bushwhackers photo challenge. Now, I gotta say, this really was a great shot. When I was coming down the hill, I heard a little buzzing and I'm like, there's a drone out. I could hear it. And sure enough, I looked down at the bridge. You're walking across and getting a little video of you, I'm assuming, for a reel. But you found a really good composition of the bridge that showed a wider landscape that any of us were able to capture. And it really is well done. I will say, it's the most instagram -y photo of the bunch, and I think that's probably why the most people voted for it. But nonetheless, Red Jacket in the snow came out on top. I would like to note that Will did have more votes than everyone else combined. You know, it's a good shot, I suppose. All right, that's it for the first ever Bushwhacker photo challenge. I gotta say, it was fun. Chandler, we, we need to do more like this. We got a lot of good feedback from it. And I think on future trips, we'll, we'll do this and try to include a lot of you guys at home. But uh, I think that's it. I've had enough. I'm gonna be done. Um, make sure you like this video and subscribe. You know, there's a little button down here. Go hit it. See what happens. I bet you won't. Oh, and if you're watching this around the time it came out, I'm probably in Hawaii right now. Have fun with the snow, losers. Woo!